right, right, right. What's the haps? What's the haps? Hopefully. Man, I've been having all kind of technical difficulties. Even now as we speak. But um I'm learning. That's how I go, you know. That's how you learn. Even I take a course. Still gonna have to, you know, go through shit, learn man, you know, it's just you know, I learn better than trial and error, just doing. I learn doing and, and whatever it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Like I say, it's only a couple of few. Shit, I'm good. Cause with 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 a lot of things I be talking about, man. I don't, I you know, I'm actually cool with it being a few. I'll be I gonna get the nervous. Get the nervous. Yeah, right. Get the fucking nervous. If a whole lot of people start listen to what I'm saying, man, that they going to fucking Andrew Tate my ass, you know? Kevin Samuels my ass. Whatever. Whoever, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Real talk, though. You know, shit, shit is real out here. Some motherfuckers ain't playing, man. You see these people is losing. They, they've they already lost their mind, man. I mean, shit just... Get tighter, tighter, tighter. A lot of people, they just can't handle the pressure. We just said this shit. And what is that? Said this shit many, many times, you know. Oh, oh I got to cut this one off. That's what that is. You got to go. Uh, yeah, we just said this many times, man. Just they, they're cracking. I mean, I, I you know, I we, yeah, me we said it many, many, many times. This shit is, you know, they're cracking, man. What you gonna do, motherfuckers? It's losing it. They gone. Cousins shooting, you know, strangers shooting each other. You you pull up to the wrong place. You're driving, just driving, doing nothing. Don't dare cut nobody off or do anything, you know, that everybody does from time to time. Like, you got to let it go, man. It's, hopefully nothing happens. Even if something happens, you're supposed to have insurance and shit, man. You know, I don't really, you know. Because they're losing it. Motherfucking wife suck. I say wife. Wife suck. Husband suck. Whatever. The job suck. Kids suck. Friends suck. You know. On and on and on and on. Can't stand nobody. So. You know what I mean. Raised by volatile motherfuckers. Evidently, or something. I mean, you know, perhaps they say the apple don't fall far from the tree, but I don't know about that shit. Cause I've grown a whole nother way. Some apples roll down the fucking hill and grow off a whole nother thing, though, too. But you know, as true as that may be, but you know, there are exceptions to the rule. That's why I guess we chosen ones or whatever. You know? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm making this very extensive, ain't I? Let, get on, let's get on with it. Is the thing even on here that I had? The video file? I, I don't see it no more. That's weird. That's weird. How the fuck that happened? Things unexplained. Okay, when I click it, it's gonna come on automatically, and I think it's gonna cut me off. So uh, until I pause it, you know what or whatever. So I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna let it play. The first one is this dude getting cracked up. I'm saying like, oh man, trying to steal some shit. 
you know, must have been to buy some crack or something. I mean, he going to heal up now. I mean, he going to uh, clean up now. That's for sure. Between the hospital and jail, it, 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 let them tell you and show you if if you haven't already seen this uh, thing. Bullshit. News tonight is the botched and painful escape attempt by an alleged shoplifter. The incident was captured on video and has since gone it's viral already. in an attempt to elude capture. The man falls from the second floor at the Willow Grove Mall last week, but in obvious pain, he doesn't get too far. Action reporter Chapadelli is live at the mall tonight with the full story and reaction. Chad. Yeah, Rick, this suspect did not get very far and in the process learned a very painful lesson. The saying goes, crime doesn't pay, and it also can be painful. Police say this is the man who tried to make his getaway after a robbery at the Apple Store in the Willow Grove Mall on April 13th. He tumbles to the ground, breaking his pelvis and tailbone. He tries to limp away, but the pain is too much, and he lays sprawled on the mall floor. The video has gone viral on the Internet and is part of the police investigation. We showed some people the painful fall, and the reaction has been what you would expect. Was he high or something? I don't know. Just jumping. Wow. Things that people do, man. Broke his pelvis and broke Ooh. his tailbone. Damn. That's crazy. Mm. And he still got up wow. and kept on running? Abington. Okay, so that's about that. I, I wanted to get his face. Maybe I'll find it enough for to put it on the thumbnail. I wanted to get his a picture of his face. They, they had showed him, you know, um, I think he looked like he hit him or something. I, I was something, something like that, you know. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, man, what the fuck? What you think, dude? For real? Like, for real? Mm, jump, fell, ran, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find, you know, part two coming, you know. To see maybe they have it from the from the uh top floor exactly how he end up rolling over that shit or whatever, you know. For a few dollars. Trying to steal some apple shit. Some shit that really ain't worth a fuck. But man, you know, you earn shit one way or the other. You figure out how to get it. Not like that. Surely not like that. Goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn. Nah, bro. That ain't, this is not the way. This is not the way. Let me see if I could speed it up a little. Police say the suspect, Abdi Wasu, acted like a customer at the app. Abdi Wasu. What's that? What kind of name that is? store and said he wanted to purchase two macbook pro laptops an iphone 14 and some accessories instead of buying the items police oh. snatched them and tried to run out of the store but a good samaritan engaged wasuj a struggle ensued and police say wasuj threatened the good samaritan saying back off or i'll shoot you he dropped the stolen goods then made his getaway until that is that plunge oh, under shit. the hard Damn. floor. It just hurt. Wasuj also faces charges of simple assault, yeah, my terroristic hurt. threats, and harassment. He's down for the count. He's down for the count, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Things that people do, man. Okay, and uh, that one, uh, well, if you, you, maybe you find it funny. I don't really find it funny. It's, it's sad. It's sad and sick, pathetic desperate and um you know that's how they, i guess they got people out here more than likely he was trying to get some dope i mean what else would have you doing you know damn really what you doing out here man now this other dude is um with with the grape I mean, it is what it is. The the essay, as they say, you know, like 
I don't even know. Like, like I said, man, nobody trying to defend these bozos, these dudes. I won't call out the women, but I'm calling out dude. I, you know, like he looked black. That dude, even what he was, whatever he was. I mean, at a glance. But anyhow, that ain't really the point. Let me let me let this play. And um, this motherfucker sure is black. And uh, man, I'm gonna have to clean my act up one of these days but it is what it is for right now battering her the victim was dropping off an order at a hotel in tampa when this all started fox 13's kelly cowan uh joining us to bring us up to speed on what happened and who they're looking for thank goodness she was still on the phone with her friend that's right and thank Hopefully her family and friends were able to track her mo movements with her phone and show up to try to rescue her during the assault. And now police are looking for the man who took off on foot. But, you know, this could have ended up so much worse. She is expected to be okay. She was able to give police a description of the man. And we have this composite now that Tampa police have released. They are searching for a man who's described as a black male in his late 20s or early 30s, about 6'2 in height with a thin build and facial hair. He was wearing a blue long sleeve shirt or hoodie and black pants Tuesday night. When he yeah, that's, I mean, they got the guy, but this was the thing. I, I just was, uh, you know, interested in how they, um, what you call it, how to draw, how, to, how that was and how he actually looked. I mean, man, let's see, I think, yeah, let me let it play from here. Bars before he can hurt anyone else. That's for sure. All right, Kelly Cowan, Life Force this morning. We'll talk to you later on. Thanks. Lift me. Right now, Tampa police are actively searching for a man accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting a DoorDash driver Tuesday night. Thank you so much for joining us on 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Emerald Morrow in for Courtney. And I'm Dave Wagner in for Josh today. This evening, police need your help finding that man. Take a look here. This is a composite based on the woman's description. Police say he's in his late 20s to early 30s, about six feet two inches tall, with a thin build and facial hair. And 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio is live from Tampa Police Headquarters right now with more on what we've learned about the woman's rescue. Miguel, this sounds absolutely terrifying. Terrifying. Police say, though, the DoorDash driver had her AirPods in during that delivery. She was actually on the phone with her girlfriend. Her girlfriend, realizing something was wrong, then called police. But we're told it wasn't actually the cops who rescued that DoorDash driver. Just after 11 Tuesday night, a woman delivered food at the residence inn on Boy Scout Boulevard. This is where police say a man tried to rob her at gunpoint. This appears to be just the crime of opportunity. The suspect was at the hotel at the same time the victim was delivering her food. Officers say the man forced her to drive from the hotel to the Bolero Lakes apartments where the sexual assault happened. But the driver's girlfriend and her family tracked down her phone. TPD says it was family members who rescued her at the complex. But the man shot multiple times, striking one of them. This subject is very dangerous. Uh, this is a very heinous crime. The latest incident has some delivery drivers on alert. Not so much during the daytime, but especially in the evening. Drivers feel for the woman just doing her job. That's, that's absolutely terrible. Somebody just trying to go out and make a few extra dollars for herself, for family, whatever the situation. Yeah, man, this is some low-life ass shit. Like I say, ain't nobody walking around here defending this low-life ass shit. This, this, this a dude here. So they, um, and they, they, they drawing. I mean, hey, I would, I would have walked right past them with that drawing. Them no, um, if you put a hat on, maybe look like him. But I don't particularly. Oh, see it. Okay, almost, almost to the to the other one.
Yeah, man. You know, nobody trying to defend no low life uh, graper or nothing else that's out here doing harm to people. Nobody, you know, doing harm to women. Doing harm, period. Nobody's supposed to be out here preying on weak people and bullying people and, and doing, you know, stuff to them that's, that's not right. You know what I mean? So, um, um, no, like y'all might be for, y'all meaning those haters might be for some other stuff, but you know, man, nobody, nobody's with that. Anyway, I guess I'm stretching it out way too much, but bear with me. Okay, so, um, I'm going to split this up later down the line so it, you know you'll be able to watch be able to watch it Has a little bit passed. a little bit edit edit it edit, edit the version of it yeah this is this is the one here the main story the lead this dude i think this is a hate crime I'm going to let you check it out, listen to it, and see if this ain't a hate crime because the average person wouldn't recognize it, I guess, you know. But it's I still an active scene out here this morning, and I want to go ahead and bring over Sheriff Greg Capers, who has been out here all morning long. Can you just tell us what happened, why y'all were initially brought out here? It, it's a uh, mass shooting scene. Uh, there are uh, four people deceased inside the house, and then there was one eight-year-old that was uh, life flighted to an area hospital. And that eight-year-old has also passed? He has, ma'am, yes. So a total of five people have died here? That is correct. All right. And you also told me that three children were also injured? Well, there was three children covered in blood. And when we got here, we loaded them up on an ambulance with uh, EMS and sent them to an area hospital. They checked them and no injuries. All right. So a total of 10 people were inside the home last night? Yes, ma'am. Right. Can you tell us why police were originally called out here? Uh, it was a harassment call. Uh, the, the suspect has been known to... Um, shoot his uh, AR-15 style 223 out in the front yard, uh, and that's evidenced by uh, the amount of casings that we found in, the front, in his front yard. And how did the suspect know the victim? Just next door neighbors. So there was a harassment call. Had he been harassing the neighbors? That, well, according to them, he, he steps out um, frequently uh, and, and shoots his AR-15 in his front yard. And where is the suspect right now? He is on the loose. We are uh, uh, trying to uh, capture him at this time. And is there any danger to the rest of the neighborhood right now? No, ma'am, there's not. Uh, we, we believe the suspect is about 15 to 20 miles away from this area. All right. And do you have a description of that suspect? What should people look out for? Um, it, it, he's a Mexican male. Uh, we, we have identified who he is due to a ring doorbell camera and um, his uh, Mexican consulate card. So is it, how much longer do you anticipate being out here? Eight to 12 hours. Well, thank you so much, Sheriff. I appreciate it. Again, we know five people are dead after that shooting here. Out here this morning, you can take a look. This house over here, that is the suspect's house. Next door, that is where the people were found deceased. Now, this is an ongoing investigation. I will continue staying out here gathering information they are still looking for that man who's on the run right now so if you know anything you are urged to call the San Jacinto County yeah well they they looking for him they know what he look like I think I had a picture somewhere uh, oh here it is coming up I, I just uh, let this roll you know pause if it, if you need to, if you want to read it, fucking nuts, man. How some people just basically ask you to do you mind? Well, I mean, yeah, that was the setup right there from the get go. He said they say he do it often. Why y'all never call the police? Why they don't know about it? I mean, I guess they, they, I don't. I, 
who knows but you you decide to approach him i mean who would think but the dude that's shooting the gun out in his front yard where is that legal nobody on that block don't look like they're like we in the country like like nobody on that block would have called the police and complained i mean i guess it's all immigrants or whatever maybe it's a bunch of you know whatever whatever everybody's afraid like damn this dude out there just busting off caps like it ain't no thing going on midnight they ask him do you mind keeping it down the baby trying to sleep i would imagine it was polite maybe it was rude who, who knows you'll never know you know what i mean if they was rude they're gonna say they wasn't rude you know but they could have been they could have been polite how, how would you know how would you know that's all i'm just saying but either way is that a death sentence why you can't be rude hey man keep that shit down my baby trying to you know like that's disrespectful to a crazy motherfucker though you know like damn talking about trigger alert so you can't go to the wrong door you can't drive up the wrong driveway Expect you know you can't do this shit period but if you black like damn you doomed you can't do the jack shit which i guess there was some kind of brown there was uh honduras well the hate crime part you know how it go because that's why we got the fba separatists now you know what i mean just to add some more division amongst us to make sure we know y'all them niggas and we us more division that's all we need which we that mean we divided from all of them even more so because man look those of us that can get along of the same race or different races to whatever extent or degree we can i mean that shit is in us man read the book by nearly fuller so we can get along to do the work that we need to do and understand that we all come from the same place you know what i mean so those of us that can those that want to be separatists do your thing you 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 mexican you this you that you know do your thing you was colonized man you got a colonized mind but that's 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 what's up we all are fighting that program. So some snap. They can't take it no more. Whatever the reason, however the reason. And part of the reason why I'm doing all this, I'm letting this for the end, huh? Is man, my daughter is gone, man. She took her own life, you know running the streets and stuff which you know um but i mean before before that happened i don't know nothing about this but this is how they want it they want the children out there vulnerable and helpless and you know can't get no guidance from the father or you know nothing structure guidance nothing all they can get is no rules anything goes get mad when it go wrong call you when shit hit the fan you know what i mean just chaos that's all they can get and then you know when they when they go all kind of ways man whatever on drugs whatever that's that's man these people doing this hideous ass shit man you know like what what else why else would you be that shit have to not have like you had a great childhood and then life just that shitty that you grow up right and then at some point i think to do like 20 something at this one here at some point you just snap and you just lose it because of life even even though you got a great foundation no the foundation fucked up 
I think probably all, always it's a, you know we make the best of it. We put on the face. Fuck her, act like fake it till he make it. We thinking shit gravy. Oh, I'm all small and shit, huh? Fake it till we make it. Hey man, look, I, that's why I'm doing it. Like I say, I I, I I be losing it on this shit. Be faking it, faking it, faking it. Wow. Over and over and over again. I ain't trying to do all these stories, but I'm trying to show the connections of people, of of like why and 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 the shit that I have talked about about watching your back, not looking like a victim, knowing. When to go left, when to go right, you know, when to hold them, when to fold them, all that good shit. You can't take nothing for granted. Ain't, ain't, ain't no, you know, these are isolated incidents, but you just never know what a motherfucker own mentally, what's, what they own. What's on their mind, what they going through, where they at in life, you know, how they feeling, or what kind of drugs they might be on. Some shit that gonna make them, you know, people killing their own families. Who are you and I? The fuck are we? You know? Who's a stranger? Who's the neighbor next door? When you say fuck it, he might have had the gun and you know, he's shooting guns. He he might he probably wanted to put it in his own fucking mouth or or whatever. Or he just wish a motherfucker would. That that that's it maybe that was the whole play in the first place. So now suicide by cop. Bitch wanted to go loco. Is that all it is to it? Wanted to go local. He shit. He succeeded. Mission accomplished. Now you wanted criminal. It ain't to caught his ass by none. Yeah, man. It's it's uh. But you know, watching your back, not looking like a victim, knowing where to go, man. That's why I don't even want to go home. I'm I'm I got clips and shit on that. That I haven't even gotten around to because shit just keep jumping off. More wow, like that shit with them man, we watching motherfuckers basically from the viewpoint of the person getting murdered, maybe not the best video or you know, photography would come on. Like we watching them get murked live or recording these people getting executed they got executed on that shit cuz shot them in cold blood man she ain't have to do that I'm gonna keep saying that she didn't have to do that but when your mind get gone no more than this dude had to do that he didn't have to do that really Oh, you want me to be quiet? I'll kill your whole family. The fuck? No warning. Just come in there on some shit off of, off of some movies, man. Is this mind control? In a way, I think it always is. Like I said, they, put, they, want, they want that. They like that. They're feeding off this shit, man. I think maybe not so much off of that, but the fear. They feed off the fear, off the outrage, off the fear. That's where they get their, their energy from. Casting their spells and shit, you know. Taking symbols and bastardizing them. Fucking took the swastika. Just gank that shit. 
made it a forever a swastika. Because that's not what it is. It's used, you know, you see it used, but not very much more somewhere else, you know. Can't barely use it here. They're going to swear you're a Nazi. It's an African symbol of power, although it's supposed to be some Tibetan. It ain't supposed to be, it is. It's just Tibetan, whatever, whatever. But, you know, from my understanding, you know, well, everything originated in Africa. Fuck. From my understanding, that that's where that come from. And um, Rainbow took that. What else? Some other shit. Something else I was thinking. I, ain't, I, I had it written down, I guess. But I think I lost it, man. Yeah, man. It, but that's uh, shit. We're pulling up all motherfuckers go wrong. Damn. And this dude, man, how you going to take somebody, snatch them, just do anything you want? Like, and there's no help. That, man, this, that, that. This shows, you know, this also shows you there's if you want help, ain't no help. Cause the help if it was actually help and the help was helping, people would, would get it. Most people know it's bullshit and others are medicated. And some of that be the reason. Quiet as it's kept, why people be doing crazy shit. Speaking of mind control, because you're taking medication, give you these different kind of thoughts. Then there's the world around us, you know, shit jumping off, popping off. It's it's, it's makes it scary, especially more for some than others. Get overwhelmed with life. And crack, crack, snap, it's over. That's where all this discipline shit come in at, man. I'm talking, I'm talking, that's why I'm showing this. That's why I'm showing this. So, like, I I, I could put it up, and some maybe sometimes I do, just put it up and let that be that, talk about the thing. But I will always come back eventually and to it being full circle. It's it's a reason. It ain't just to be glamorizing shit. Maybe it might get more hits, whatever. Maybe it won't. I ain't doing it. How, you know, once again, yeah, I want to get paid. You're damn right. If I can make some money on YouTube, you, you think I'm not going to take it? Yeah, I want some likes and views and all. All that shit. You know, matter of fact. Yeah, you think you think <laughs> you think I ain't gonna take it? Hell yeah. That's why people put shit up. But that's not the point. It's really not. Yes, I would, and yes I will when the day come and it will come. I ain't getting up. Uh, shit. What and then what? You know? And then what? And then there's that three feet away from gold shit. Fuck, I don't know what, what man. Look, I'm going I'm to keep mining. Nah, I'm going to keep mining. I'm going I'm to dig. It's, it's, it's coming up. It's only a matter of time. These motherfuckers be suppressing your shit. They can, man, they can make you or break you. I know how it is. They don't, they show it to who they want to show it to. And, and these shits, is biased and the shit i'm talking about come on and they promote who they want to promote however it go maybe people pain whatever i don't really know i'm figuring it all out but you know i might pay something but i'm only gonna pay so much and then you know it's got to be um well i guess you take money to make money but i would want it to be self-sustaining you know what i mean yeah, man. 
Well, I'm gonna wrap it up. Wrap, 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 wrap it up. And uh, what I got? Can't see the damn thing. I had the phone, but that shit making too much. Um, it's got too much feedback on it. You know. So, do I need to go through the Bible verses tonight? Maybe not tonight. Maybe I'll say that for. Oh, tomorrow is Sunday, huh? Maybe I'll say that for the Sunday for the Sunday sermon, y'all. The 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 Bible verses that your pastor always avoid. He don't even go there. He ain't gonna go there. You know. He ain't gonna never go there. You know why? <laughs> you know why, huh? Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh huh. So yeah, that's that. And uh I guess let me let me go ahead and end that. Like I say. Thank you.